Good afternoon, madam. Good afternoon. Could you give me some food as a gift? I haven't eaten anything. Oh, son, I can't right now. I haven't sold anything today. Well, look. Oh, my God. You won the candy anyway. Thank you. Good afternoon, my friend. Good afternoon. Can't you give me some of what you are selling? Or a coin or something? I haven't eaten all day. You haven't eaten anything? Not a morsel of food. It's just that, well... It's that this is not mine, I work it. Ah, okay, I understand. But let's see, wait for me. Let me see. Sure. I must have something around here, but I don't know. Look, I have this chocolate. I don't know if it can help you. Thank you. The truth is that... Look, it's just that I haven't sold Don't worry. Anything, and Thank you very you. much. Take it. Thank you. That's very kind. I know what it's like not to eat. It is very ugly. The truth is that I was struggling all day long to get food. No, yes, it's very ugly. I don't... The truth is that I know what it's like not to eat and to be in the sun. It's awful. Do you have to work all day too? Yes, yes, I've been going out since the morning. I mean, I go for this. And then I start working, but right now I haven't sold anything. Ah, okay, sales are low? Yes, too low. Well, maybe if you want to stay with the chocolate. No, 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 you eat it. I was bringing it as a backup in case I needed it. But no, you eat it. But... You haven't eaten anything. You haven't either. It's just that the heat is really strong. Look, I'm fine, don't worry. But you eat the chocolate. Are you sure? Yes, I am. Yes, look. With what I gave you, here you go to the little shop here. They sell little juices there. I buy some of those little ones there. And with that, I'll find. Hey friend, why do you say you're struggling too? Well, it's really difficult. I'm not from here. Uh, okay, you're not from here? No, I borrowed this one. Uh, a man lends it to me to work, so I am slowly making a living. A little bit that comes out, and do you live alone, or...? I do live alone here. I don't have any family here. Well, it's just that, yes, I am alone. Is something wrong, friend? No, I'm fine. Don't worry. Sure? Yes, don't worry. But look, you eat. Eat your chocolate and go here to the store and buy yourself a juice. And with that, you'll felt better. And then, if you lose, you'll get something in your stomach. It's really bad not to eat. And then the heat is very Yes, bad. you're right. It's really bad and you're going to get dehydrated, so... Look, friend. God will provide. Today for you, tomorrow for me. God is good, and the Virgin will help me, and you too. Thank you. I'm very grateful. As I said, I've been struggling all day long. I don't know if you're in a hurry, my friend, but I'd like to talk to you for a little while. If you can give me some minutes. Well, uh, how much time? I don't take much of your time. Well, maybe you'll come with me to the store and we'll buy some okay, juice. Okay, let's go. To tell you which ones to buy, there are some juices okay. that are very tasty. Come on then, okay, thank you. Let's go. My friend, really, thank you very much. All day long, struggling to be able to eat or even to drink a little liquid, a little water. Thank you. No, no, no. What are you going to thank me for? I know what it's like to be hungry, to be in the sun, to be working and not eating anything. Look, besides, my mother used to tell me, may she rest in peace. She used to say that we should not stay with an empty belly. Yes, you have to eat. And then you haven't eaten anything. I've lost, well, later I had a meal. Oh, friend. And I was telling you a little while ago, today for you, tomorrow for me. And look, we even did well. Yes, we also completed the promotion. Complete. Hey. What happened is that I dared to tell you that if you accompanied me a little bit, because now that you were giving me the chocolate coin, I saw that you wanted to cry. Uh. Something wrong? Can I help you with something? Well, no, it's just that you see, sometimes you feel very lonely. It's that sometimes loneliness hits you. It hits you, and even more so when ugly things have happened to you. And you were telling me that you have no family here, my friend? No. No, it's just that I came here alone. Well, my story has been very sad. Since I was a child, I suffered a lot. Yes? Quite a lot, really. And sometimes as I don't have anyone and I live alone, I don't know anyone. Well, sometimes I have wanted to talk to let off steam. Well, I'm here, so bad. don't worry. No. I'm about to start. No, no, nothing's wrong. And it's okay. It's okay for you to cry. You have to bring out the feeling that you've got bottled up because... Well, yeah. It hurts you, at the end of the day. Yes, no, it's just that I've been very young. 
I am not from here. I came from my town and I was, I already had my mom, my dad, and my two little brothers. But there was a moment when, well, some bad people, they went to town and started to take us all out. Are you serious? Yes, I mean, we were fine. I mean, we had our house, we had some cows, some goats, and, well, we were getting along fine. We were getting along. Yes. And my parents, no, my parents are, they were a God's love. Why should I say no? Just now you told me that your mother had already passed away? Well, both of them. Both of them? I don't know where my brothers are. What do you mean you don't know? It's just that when, what I'm telling you right now, when those people were there, I didn't know. I was 12. I mean, I was, I was very young. Yes, you were a child. And they took all of us out of the town. And they took us to who knows where. They took us to the bush. There they locked us up and kept us in very ugly rooms. Sometimes we didn't eat and they took us to the fields. Well, of bad things. And me, thank God they didn't do anything to me. My mother always told me, Mija, entrust yourself to the Virgin of Guadalupe, entrust yourself. And I prayed and told her, please help me. Because this is really bad. I don't know how I'm going to do it. And I had my little brothers, my eight-year-old brother and my four-year-old brother. Yes. But I saw people being taken away. They covered their eyes and took them away. And I didn't know what they were doing. And to me, thank God, they never did anything. There were more families there with you in captivity? It was a very small town. It was a very small town, and we all knew each other. They caught you all? I don't know what they wanted, and they took us all out. Calm, friend. I am very sorry it breaks my heart to hear your story, but as I was telling you just now, I'm here to listen to you, and it's good to get that feeling out of you, that you don't keep anything bottled up. It's just that when we were in the planting, I was with my mom, and then my mom. It was a lot of work. It was a lot of work. We were in the sun, and they didn't do anything to me anymore. They started hitting people, and then suddenly my mother fell down. And my mom didn't react anymore. Calm down, my friend. It's just that my mom... I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to. I didn't know. It's but you're not I alone, you my friend. You feel alone you're not alone. I can assure you of that. And then my little brothers were taken away. And I didn't know anything about them. They were very young and I wanted to help them. And I told the Lord that because the Lord said that I was like his daughter. But I don't understand why. I said, Lord, please don't take them away. They are my little brothers. I swear that I will stay here with you, but don't do anything to them. And he took them away. And then after a long time, I was about 15 years old. And they released us. But they took us away in one of those big black vans. My dad and me, my mother had passed away and I don't know where they left her. They didn't give your mother a Christian burial? No, nothing. They just took her away. Two men arrived and they carried her and that was it. How difficult. And then with my dad, well, we went around but we were all in the dirt. They were planting and nobody wanted to give us work. And my father also told me, my grandfather also taught him, may he be glorified. My grandfather and my father used to tell us a lot. You have to work, children. You have to work. Work exalts. That is very good. Always be honest. And when you can, help everyone. Help those who, all those who come your way. Help if you can. And if not, find a way. They always told us. In a certain way, now that I came with you, then it reminded you of your father and your grandfather. My grandfather. And I tell you, I know what it's like to go hungry. And I said, no, I have to help him because it feels terribly. And then I came while well, they gave us work, my dad and I in a house. Time went by and my dad, well, he passed away. And the lady we were working with, yes, she said she was going to bury him. And she buried him. 
And then I, as a little girl, I was 18, I fell in love. And the boy told me that he was going to take me out, that he was going to help me, and we came here. And then it turned out that I was pregnant. But my boyfriend, he left me bruises once he even left me in the hospital. And I lost my baby. I'm so sorry, friend. Look, maybe God put us on the road right now because evidently you already needed to talk to someone. I can see that you are carrying a very strong depression, a sadness that it's good to talk. Look, we've just met and... What I'm going to tell you is in the good sense of the word, I'm glad that you are healing, that you are getting rid of that feeling that you have because it hurts you that you're holding on to all that. That sadness because... No, thank you. And now I am here. I came and I started to look for myself. It was very difficult because I didn't know anyone. I didn't know, I mean, I didn't have an education. I barely finished elementary school. I helped my parents. Then all this happened, and then a lady helped me get a little room, and they lent me this cart. And here I sell a little bit. Part of it goes to the boss. Yes. And another part is for me, I already eat a taco for a little bit. And already here, the people here on the block already know me. Yes. Some of them suddenly, oh, they buy from me. You can practically say that you already have your route done. Yes, yes, I'm already going Great. this way, and... But while sales have been very low today, I have sold almost nothing. And you say you haven't sold anything? Well, just one. And that's what... Don't tell me it's the one well, you gave me? But no, 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 no. That's what my grandfather and my father used to tell us. Help, help people. Help as much as you can. And today for you, tomorrow for me, it will be my turn. But look, God is very big. We got it cheap, yes. And he also reached two for one. And the lady also already knows me, and all of a sudden I tell her to give me a chance, and I pay her back. At the end of the day, with whatever, I can get a few coins, and I pay her a little at a time. Hey, friend. It's already... And what would you think if today, if your daddy and your granddaddy wanted to send you a message, a reward? No, what am I going to say to you? Happy? But, well, like what? Well, it seems to me that coincidences don't exist. It seems to me that God put us on the road now because they sent you a surprise. Yes? Yes. Well? Look, the truth is that I don't need the money. Nor your chocolate, I appreciate it. No, look, take it. Look, here it is. Keep the chocolate. Look. I'm gonna... But no, really, it's just I feel ashamed. I'm, I'm serious. Look, take them. Take them. I don't need them. I'm fine. I don't want you to take it the wrong way. I don't want you to get scared. And I don't want you to get mad at what I'm about to tell you. I'm in the business of social experimenting. How? Look, I'm in the business of looking for people with a good heart just like you. And today I want to show you something that I feel that your daddy and your grandfather sent you from heaven, especially for you. Look in this little box. Is the surprise that I sent to your grandfather and your daddy. You're not the first one who asked him. I've been asking him for more than 10 people in the day. And everyone told me no. Uh-huh. Yes? Yes, but... And the people who said no to me, this is what they get. A sweet... Uh... But you told me yes, true... So that's what you earned for telling me that... No! Yes, yes! Are you serious? Of course it is. You take it. No, but it's that... Take it. Yes, take it, please. Take it, please. Easy, friend. You deserve it. Take it out that feeling. Take it, please. Oh, my God. Hi, Daddy, Grandpa. Thank you, Mommy. That's for having a good heart, friend. Can I open?
open it? Of course, that's already yours, my friend. That's yours. But I, but at the same time, I feel so no. sorry for you. I didn't even earn it. What are you talking about? You gave it to me without thinking. You were going without food for giving it to me. And since you say you didn't earn it. Oh, it's a lot of money. You deserve it, my friend. No, thank you very much. Really, thank you very much. Oh, no, I'm really speechless. I thank you. I thank you very much. Because the truth is that I was struggling a lot right now. I couldn't earn a little more because I had to pay for the little room where I am living. I hadn't eaten anything since the day before yesterday. How do you All think... I had was a little piece of bread that a neighbor had given me. And a little juice that I was buying now with the yes. lady. Yes. And then this. But no. Thank you very much. Thank you very Thank much. you for sharing. Europe. Really, Europe. My daddy, my grandfather, God sent you to me. The coincidences, as you said right now, do not exist. And really, thanks to you, Dad. Thank you, Daddy. I love you, Daddy. Mommy? Thank you, Mommy.